Isn't that awesome? It's a full moon. I caught it just in time. Okay, people, so today we're going to talk about drugs <laughs> and why you really shouldn't do them. I'm serious. Okay. Um, I'll be back. Hello. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. All right, so this is our continuance of our full moon series. First of all, I want to thank uh, Brady. I think his last name is Crucetta. He gave a $40 donation. Uh, he just wanted to say thanks for the work we did in the past. Um, let's see here. All right, so my my recommendations: don't do don't do drugs. I'm telling you, don't do any of that stuff, and don't fall for the LSD microdosing bullshit either, because it will fuck you up. I've seen these people, and they are fucking like just like they don't make any sense. They've got problems. It's don't do it. Okay, that, okay, that's another example. Okay, so I've run into people who've done microdosing off and on for years. And I'm like, well, what's your purpose for doing that? They're like, well, you know, I wanted to get rid of my anxiety or you know, anger issues or, or whatever they had. I'm like, did it work? They're like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, did it work? Okay, okay. The, the ultimate answer is no. Okay, so I've got another person. So this person was on this ayahuasca trip. And um, what I mean was they, they were making plans to do another one and then eight weeks later do another one. I'm like, well, how long have you been doing this? Like, oh, well, you know, for so many months. I'm like, well, what's your purpose for doing this? They're like, well, I'm trying to get over my issues. Well, I had actually done a session with a person and totally grounded them, like, boom, right? And they were like, what is this? I'm like, this is the healthy way to, to heal your energy. So I was like, well, how many times have you done it? And they said it a certain number of times. And I'm like, well, did it work? Look, people, here's my point. A lot of you think, well, I'll just do it again. I'll do it again. It's like, no. At this point, you're turning it into a crutch. If you are going to do something like that, the goal is not to fucking do it every month, every week, or whatever. The goal is to do it one or two times to help you to open up and release. And then you have to do the hard work. The meditation, the consciousness work, and techniques to, to help you heal this stuff. If you're relying on the drugs to do the work, you completely are miss, missing the boat. Like, that is, that's dangerous. That's just dangerous. Period. End of sentence. So, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, that's, like, me personally, I'll never touch any of this stuff again. Ever. Now, the thing is, I didn't have a bad trip. I actually learned a couple things. But I realized, like, wow, this... Okay, compared to the work that I've been doing, that's 7% of the effect. Like, it's such a minor, like, yeah, okay, well. And then here's the other thing about it. When you do it naturally, you have clarity. When you do it with drugs, it's a muddy, murky, blurry experience. It's not this clear experience, Okay. So if you need something like that, okay, let's take anxiety pills. Like, I remember that when I first took anxiety pills, like, wow, I feel great. It taught my, okay, this, okay, this is my point. This is a good lesson. It taught my neurology. It taught my em emotional system, my nervous system, what relaxation was. Because I had realized that after that, like, wow, I've been going 100 miles an hour since I was a little kid. I didn't know what it meant to be relaxed. But I also realized, like, man, I could get addicted to these pills really fast. So I cut them in half, and I only did it for once every five days or something like that. And I did it for about a month or maybe a little bit more than that. And then I was like, okay, my body's learned what this is. Now I've got to meditate and replicate that emotional experience. I've never touched anxiety pills since because I don't need to. It's like, okay, here's a good way. Okay, here's a good way of understanding it. It's like I tell people, I can show you the high school I went to in Napa, California. I'm like, okay, so let's let's say without cell phones or any technology, you get in the car with me and I drive there. I'm like, okay, and then I then we drive back. They're like, okay, I go. Do you think you could go there and back on your own? I'm like, well, no, of course not, dude. I mean, there's too many turns, and I you know I forgot. It's like, okay, so what if we do it a second time? I'm like, eh, I still don't think I'd be able to find my way there and back. You know, it's like, okay. So then I would say, how would I say this? Okay, so then I would say, let's do it a third time. 
and they'd be like, uh, yeah, I probably would probably get pretty close, but I don't think I'd be able to get exactly there and back. I'm like, okay, so let's say we did it four, five, six, seven times. Do you think at that point you could get there and back? They're like, yeah, honestly, probably about the fifth time. I could probably go there and back, no problem. That wouldn't be a problem. I'm like, okay, that's my point. So if you do use these these uh, things uh, like ayahuasca and whatever, I would not, I would not recommend doing it more than two, maybe three times. I wouldn't do it. And even the, the LSD, I would just stay the fuck away from it. I'm sorry, that's just my recommendation. I've never touched it, never done shrooms. I do, the shro okay, the shrooms I'm a little more open up to. <laughs> All right, even the peyo peyote. But again, that's like a once in a lifetime trip. And I wouldn't overdo it. Here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing about these. When you go to these. Uh, okay. So. When you go to these groups. Where they have like. I don't know. 15 people or 20 or however many. I don't know how many. Eight people. Whatever. Maybe more. I've seen videos of where there's like a lot of people. A lot more than that. Playing. But my camera's not picking it up. So. When you go to these groups you're putting yourself in danger here's why because their energies their entities are being released and guess what they're gonna go into you so let's talk okay this you I can pull up a hundred movies uh, maybe not off the top of my head I can pull up a lot of different examples from history from the Bible from everything let's, okay let's take the Bible remember when Jesus uh, when that those spirits those demons were inside those people and Jesus comes along and he's gonna cast them out and they go no 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 Jesus please 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 because if you do we'll sure surely die and be dead forever because they don't get to go anywhere once they're dead they're dead and they know it so Jesus was basically like well, where do you want to go and they're like well throw us into those those pigs or those swine so Jesus pulled the spirits out and threw them in the swine and then the, then the pigs or swine, they ran off the cliff and they fell off and, and smashed on the rocks below and died. All right, so here's the point. In that story, it says demons can come out of people, but then they have to look and go into another person or, or live being in order to exist. This is why I do not recommend. I do not recommend. Don't do it. Don't go to those fucking groups. Some of those people have some serious fucking entity problems. Stay away. That is fucking dangerous. All right. And here you are doing ayahuasca on top of it. And so are they. And it's opening them up. It's opening you up. Well, you're, you're just a, a brand new container for that spirit to go into. Don't do it. All right. If you're going to do something like that, I would do it on your own alone or with one person that you know is healthy and they're close to God. Okay. All right, God bless you guys. Good luck. Again, meditate. That is your freaking answer and do energy healing. God bless you.